for someone who wants to go into the music business, I would say they have to be passionate about classical music. They have to be knowledgeable about it. It helps to major in it. I don't think it's necessary to um, focus, say, on music business per se, though that's very helpful. I actually think that in this side of the business, um, having a good knowledge of repertoire and artists is really important, especially in artist management and orchestra management, since you're doing so much programming and talking about different symphonies and concertos. And it's good to have an education in, in say, performance or just musicology. But overall, I would say a music background and education is great. Um, someone who loves to work with people is helpful, since we interact with people and artists um, all the time. And, uh, and I would say the last thing would be for practical experience to get your foot in the door. I'm a big supporter of internships. I, I advocate that all the way. I mean, that's how I got into the industry. Um, it's pretty impossible to just step in and be an agent when you have no experience. So most of the time, you, one would start from the bottom as an assistant or, or doing something like that. And a great way to get your foot in the door is to work for free. And even though it'll be just temporarily not getting a paycheck, um, an internship is a great way to not only gain experience and contacts, but to try it out and see if you like it. And if you do, then the more people you're exposed to in the internship, the more opportunities you have to work in the business. Uh, it takes a lot to work with artists because they're, they're different people and um, in a lot of ways they're um, very focused sometimes on, on particular things like music and um, they may not necessarily think about things that someone who's not an artist thinks about which may be you know the day that it is you know someone who works a regular job at a computer definitely knows the day of the week <laughs> but some of our artists don't necessarily think about what day it is or they might not show up at the airport because they didn't realize that today was yesterday. <laughs> so um, some of it can be amusing. So I, I think that it does take patience and understanding, and it takes um, sometimes a sense of humor to get through it. But um, on the whole, I think it's very helpful to have a music background when you work in the business so that you can understand just how engrossed an artist can get in their work and how they can sometimes neglect the things that we take for granted that are trivial but necessary. Um, so I would say that um, it takes patience and understanding, but sometimes it also takes um, an ability to, I guess, serve as a psychologist or um, also a diplomat because sometimes an artist might not necessarily want to do something which is understandable from an artist's perspective but as an agent since you're the middleman you have to make two people happy one is the artist and one is the concert promoter or sometimes the record company or publicist whoever it is on, on that side um, might have an agenda which doesn't align with the artists and sometimes um, as an agent you just have to try to diplomatically find a compromise for both parties so that everybody's happy in the end. So it takes a little bit of massaging. That's why I said psychologist, because you have to get behind their thinking and assure them that you understand their concerns, but somehow bring to light the reason that this person may want, want a different answer out of the artist. So, so diplomacy, psychology, patience, understanding, and just um, a sense of a sense of perspective in the whole thing is all necessary, I think.